Hey, sweet girl. I figured you'd be home by now. I'm waiting for Dobby. It's really late. What do you think? It's kind of red. I've never seen you wear that color. Maybe this is the real me. Well, I have to work late tonight. By the time you're getting home. Dad, is the weekend. Don't stay out too late, OK? Good night, Dad. You found her. Are you going to tell me or do I have to hear the other kids talking at school? We found her by the lake, covered by a blanket, shot through the heart. She's my only real friend in the whole world. Travis. It's so hard to take her place, aren't you, Tammy? Hey, Travis, listen, man. That's you not... left her lying there alone so they could find her. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Someone found me laying there and took me home, OK? Excuse me? All right, listen up for a minute. I know you probably already heard that um, one of your classmates, Davi Sokolov, has been killed. We're going to find whoever did this. Until then, we've closed the road around Wolf Lake. Don't go anywhere in the forest, especially at night. Stay out of the woods. See you at home, Sophia. Luke. I'm sorry about Davi. I know she loved you. Let's go, Luke. Don't tell anyone. Cold and it's wet, and you're out here in this flimsy little thing. I'm not cold at all. All right, here's your glasses. I don't need them anymore. All right, I'm gonna get you home. I shot Davi? Yeah. So does your daddy, the sheriff? No. I believe you. Sophia, you're gonna have to choose. You can join us, 
and be free. Or you can just go home to your safe life. That way you don't end up with a bullet in your heart. And if you're scared, maybe you should stay out of the woods. How do you know about that? You need to be more careful. Hey! Hey! Hold on! I'm a police officer. Yeah, well, you don't look like one. Okay. What? What is it? What's what? What you're running from. You are a cop. Hello? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, what are you waiting for? If my dad finds out I'm gone, he's gonna go totally berserko on me. Put this on. Seattle, right? You know Tommy Roll? Tommy Roll, who shot five people in that Tacoma Mall last summer? Six. Included the state trooper, which was later. Yeah, you're right. Six. Uh, no, I don't know him. He's in prison. We play chess. Over the internet. Do you think that's twisted? Depends. Is he any good? Eh. His end game's weak. Really, Dad, you picked the lamest time to start these discussions. At least here you can't go hide in your room. You were off the lake last night, weren't you? How would you know? You were working the whole time. Don't play me. You know I can tell when you're lying. OK, so what? Am, am I, like, grounded now? We all know what goes on out at the lake. Now there's drugs. Dad. You make one little mistake out there, there's no turning back. Your whole life is blown just like that. No college, no traveling the world, no career. Just this town, just this life. You've told me that a billion times. I get it. Well, I thought we were together on this. I'm 16 now. Don't I have the right to question stuff? Not about this. I have to get back to work. Dad! They are watching you. They are testing you. They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. You don't belong with them. Maybe I do. No. Trust me. You won't find what you think you're looking for. Mom found you. Police Department. Get in. Come on, one more chance. We'll go easy on you this time. Stuff is not hiding. 
Sean, chill, all right, man? The girls, anything that isn't yes is no. Anything that isn't yes is maybe. She could tell her dad, idiot. And I'm not gonna tell. <laughs> It's no big deal. We're just gonna party a little. Sean, let her out. Let her out, Sean. I said let her out. Oh, God, what happened to you? Minor crisis in the woods. It's a pretty ravenous little backyard you guys have got, but you know all about that, don't you? I don't know where Ruby is, if that's what you came here I came here to ask you what you saw in the forest that night. I know you saw something, and I know it frightened you. I'm having deja vu. Didn't we have this conversation? I think I saw it, too. Okay, just for a second. It was it was huddled in a car, but I can't explain what I think I saw. Could be the altitude. You listen to me, please. Ruby Cates is very important to me. If she's in any kind of important, danger... Important? Like, if I find her, I'm going to get promoted and, and be in all the talk shows and get in all the newspapers, and, and my book about it could totally be a Keanu Reeves movie. No. More like if I don't find her. The entire rest of my life isn't going to have one true moment of joy or meaning. Important like that. Is she here? A lot of people are trying to make me think that she isn't. What does that tell you? You know, I never got your name. Sophia. Oh, Molly. Get off this frequency or I'm calling your mother. Refill? Yeah, please. What's on the radio? The Mariners? Not exactly. Let me listen. Somehow, I don't think your father, the sheriff, would approve. Even better. Thank God. What? That I don't have a teenage daughter. We're not so bad. Just as long as you give us everything we want. How old are you? Thirteen. Isn't that kind of... kind of early? Yeah. And? First time's freaky. I don't care what anybody says. Because you have no idea what to expect. Did it hurt? Truth? You know what they say about pain, right? That it's only heat. Pleasure, too. It's just, you know, the way your mind chooses to interpret it. Well, how is it for you? Like somebody ripping the bones from my back. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, is this a bad time? No, not even close. Baby, you're tense. You're not making him tense, are you? Thanks. See ya. See ya. Hey, where are you going? Oh, that's right, I forgot. You're not in this class, are you? Randy said she went totally Blair Witch running through, was naked, screaming her head off. Sarah was gonna flip with Randy? Whoa, I guess so. That's a lie. She can't stand Randy. Then who? Come on, you guys are tired. Who was it? I don't know. What makes you think she needed anybody? Ew, alone. Mm. It's grotesque. What a waste. I guess that's what happens when you wait too long. Something you should think about, Sophia. Screw you, Brianna. Just talking about it squeezes your juice, doesn't it? Girls, they giving you a bad time. If you're spying on me, you've really gotten desperate. I'm not spying, I just couldn't help it. Eavesdrop? Over here. Whatever. <sighs> Those cows. Why can't they just leave me alone? 
Sarah. Is that who was on the run last night? So it wasn't Ruby. Ruby? No. This girl, is she in any trouble? Maybe I can help. I've got a four top waiting for coffee. Okay. It's my cell phone number in case you change your mind. dinner. I was wondering if you were craving anything special. I had a pizza at work. Oh. Okay. You didn't have to bring home any extra, did you? I wasn't sure you'd be home. Yeah, well, actually, I have to go back later. Is it about Sarah? Luke told me that she's in Luke, big wait a minute. Didn't we talk about Luke Cates? What am I supposed to do? Hide every time I see him? He's not such a bad guy. Sophia, I give you a lot of space. You can't deny that. But this is different. This kid is dangerous, and I don't want you hanging with him. I'm not going to judge him. Not till I know more about him. You taught me that. About him, I'll tell you all you need to know. This isn't about who I see, Dad. Or what I do. Like it or not, this is about DNA. Hopefully your mother's. Oh, you're hoping. Well, I'm stuck with the waiting. Give me a clue. I mean, when the hell do you want? I need 32.55. Class pictures. Sophia? Soph? I mean it. Hey, how come I'm giving up a ton of personal stuff and you get to sit there all mysterious? <laughs> okay. You remember last year when Noonan came out with all those regulations about no more anti-dress code rallies on campus? You saw the flyer that was sent to all the faculty in response? Oh, what, the, the Xerox with the bare ass regulate this? <laughs> you sent that? Was that your, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. No, that wasn't you. Come on. Now we're even. So, tell me what it's like. <sighs> All right. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, you know? I mean, nothing. Nothing comes close. It's like, uh, it's like a full-on body rush, but more. I mean, your spirit goes totally pyro. Okay, sitting here at the stoplight, this is them. And this, this is us. Get out of the car now. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Well, I do. You just can't stay away from it, can you? I'm walking home. Wait, you take the kids from the hill. They're cool. They're better. Like you're in on a big secret. You don't know all of it. But you will. I 
are you taking me? There's something I want to show you. What? Is this what you've been waiting for? Is it? Dad, you're the sheriff, please. I can't. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Sophia. You're shaking. I, I didn't know where else to go. It's okay. No, it's not. What? You're just getting all crazy out so fun. Tell me. I think I may have killed somebody tonight. Sophia, are you okay in there? Just a second. I heard something in the backyard. Stop being so paranoid, Dad. And, uh, burn the pajamas. We can get together and talk when I get off. Talk? Or do something. I am doing something. Oh, man. Nice. 
You got two? That's pretty good. Two. Sophia. Hi. You had now? What's to you? I don't know, I just... You know, there are days when it gets so crazy, I feel like I should grab onto something because I'm just going to spin off the planet. But you, you're totally the entire first-class section of Air Psycho. So best thing, I accept your clumsy apology <laughs> and... Well, wait a second, Sophia, who said that I was apologizing? <sighs> okay, Sophia, I came here because I wanted to make sure that the stuff we talked about earlier stayed on the down low. I can't have it getting back to my dad. Stuff? That stuff we talked about the other night got pretty deep, and according to you, you couldn't tell it to anybody else. That, that felt like, like friends. Okay, you know what? You're making a really big deal out of And if that's how you treat your friends, because you can, because you're other, better, I pass. You know, uh, they say that once they pick up the game, women are better pool players than men. Something in the hips, I guess. Maybe I should try it sometime. Well, uh, I'm not doing anything right now. I could, I could teach you. <laughs> Looks pretty crowded. Simple hand eye stuff. Don't be nervous. This is how I learned. From friends. Roses are sprinkled with dew. Tonight. I was thinking maybe you and me take a ride or something. Whoa, back up like a, a thousand yards. Your dad, why did he collapse like that? Uh, I don't know. Well, I, I think I heard my mom say something about a, a minor brainstem event, something like that. Hey, no worries, though. I mean, the man is indestructible, right? Is it related to his cancer? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think anybody knows for sure. Well, don't you think someone should find out? <laughs> well, I was thinking that I would roll by around 8.30 or so. How's that sound? Good. Good. I'll see you later. He's like Paul Newman or Robert Redford in that movie, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Did you see that show, Mona? Oh. Oh, were those two of the most beautiful blue-eyed bad boys ever? I swear, if I'd have been that school teacher or, or whatever she was, I'd have done them both. At the same time, without a moment's shame or a pang of regret. 
Not that you should be listening to any of this. Your dad is one mouth-watering hombre. My dad? Yeah. You must be kidding. He's like a, like a monument or something. A monument. <laughs> you are kidding. And generous. Oh, don't even get me started on that subject. Uh, Nancy. <laughs> hmm. Well, so what are we doing here anyway? I want to look like this. Well, who wouldn't? You know, um, it's not for holding, it's for drinking. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Um, I just didn't think we'd end up out here. But it's cool. Well, why would you have a mind? What's up, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> I didn't think you'd be here tonight. What are you talking about, dude? You know, man, I thought you'd be holed up with your dad. You know, changing bedpans and drinking string beans through a straw. Point taken, dude. <laughs> Did we miss prom? Yeah. It was right after the planning of the Apes reunion. <laughs> Go to the water. You're gonna love it. Luke, no. <sighs> okay. Ready, Luke, okay? I'm just... I'm just not. Hey. Nobody's ever ready before. It's like a paradox. You get ready afterwards. Come on, Sophia. Everybody's watching. I know a really good place. No. Yeah, I, I screwed up the front. It's hard to copy hair from a picture. And I can fix it. Look at your eyes. They're flawless. They're human. You are all so beautiful. You know who I could never understand? Animal lovers. Those idiots who love their dogs and cats and parakeets more than people. Why worship the lowly beasts of the earth when you can revel in the glory of being the most supreme and most exquisite of all creatures? I mean, could I ever be this perfect? 
Don't look so scared. I'm the one who's gonna have the nightmares. Two in the morning, I should be asleep. This is what, the fourth night? I can't sleep, I just, I toss and turn and get all anxious. I, I want to jump out of my skin. Well, maybe you should go see Dr. Chapman. Yeah, he'll just tell me it's a phase and make me a balloon animal. <laughs> I, I'm not a kid anymore. When is he gonna realize that? I'm, I'm a disturbed teenager. It came. The one we've been waiting, the, the one you've been waiting for from Italy, it's here. But you're not going to open it up? I mean, it's from the University of Florence. You're not dying to know if you got accepted? What if I didn't? Yeah, well, this is parental uh, privilege here. You got in. I did? I got in. <laughs> So, I'm so proud of you. This is great. Yes, darling. Sausage and hotcakes, elk jerky, and scrambled. Uh, you sure you don't want anything, Mr. Blackstone? So, you just gonna sit there all morning or what? It's kind of creepy, you know? Like you're just waiting for something to happen. Look at it this way. I'm preventing someone else from sitting here than ingesting a lethal dose of cholesterol and saturated fat. Think of it as a public service. So you're out of here, right? Rome or somewhere? Florence. Ah, uh, yes, birthplace of Galileo. Malodorous little man. Chronically constipated. Anyway, I can't believe everybody knows already. I mean, it's like six months away. Yeah, well, thank you, Father. He's doing everything but skywriting it over the community center. tip from table four. Is 
isn't there supposed to be like some sort of warning before everything goes totally Star Wars? <laughs> that is the warning. And what do I do now? Depends. On? The strength of your other universe. <laughs> I felt fairly awesome. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> Feel free to jump in here with something encouraging. Well, it'll do wonders for your hair. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Just know this. You're stronger than you think. Never coming back. I am. Luke, my dad's gonna be home any second. Nope, this town is just a speck in your rearview mirror. It's just for the summer. And if he finds you here, he's. I mean, how can this place compare with Italy? You know? I mean, <laughs> you'll be a, a sophisticated world traveler here. And, and how's anybody gonna impress you after that? And who might wanna impress me? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. You'll be like, dear dad. I'm having such an incredible time, and this city is so amazing, and I'm learning so much. I'm riding around in my little Vespa. I'm living la vida loca. La dolce vita. La dolce vita. And I want to stay here forever and ever and ever. Please, Dad, please. Don't you ever fantasize about anything beyond Wolf Lake? Why should I? I mean, I'm never going to get to do any of it. Can't leave this town, you know that? It doesn't seem fair. Uh, hill people can never put themselves or their clan at risk. They drummed that into you since preschool. The world begins at Wapiti Pass and ends at County Line. Anything beyond that is deep space. It's there to explore, isn't it? If we were meant to explore, we would have been given safer blood. My dad's home, I can hear his explorer. You can? That's at least a block away. I'll have to talk about that sometime. Okay, close your eyes. In a perfect world, this would come wrapped in this, but uh, it's been a tough day. Oh my God. It's the 80 millimeter refractor telescope on the equatorial mount. <laughs> Dad, this is it. I, I love it. <laughs> well, let's set it up. Come on. Come on. Okay. This should impress those 
professors from Florence when you show up with your own gear, huh? What? You know, I'm remembering I told uh, Cyrus Wurzel that I'd be back at camp this summer, and I'm, I'm sure I'm his only arts and crafts counselor, and I've been going there for like eight years, so just all of a sudden, boom, never see those people again. It's it's suddenly hitting me. Well, honey, that's just a summer camp. I'm sure Mr. Wurzel, he'll understand. I, I just don't feel right about it, that's all. And who am I kidding anyway, me, an astronomer? <laughs> You've always dreamed of that. I really want to work with kids. And plus, I'll get paid at camp. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What, what are you telling me? I'm reconsidering. Reconsidering? It's just I don't think Florence is the right thing right now. I mean, it's going to be really expensive. Look, you let me let me worry about that. Look, how, how can you compare Camp Walla Walla with six weeks in one of the cradles of Western civilization? It's my friends, my last summer. There's something you're not telling me. God, not telling you what? I don't know. Look, I'll tell you what, take a couple of days and, and think about this. You know, you don't have to decide tomorrow. Dad, I'm not going. Others in attendance, assorted friends, business associates, local dignitaries. Shark repellent. There's blood in the water. Uh, I'll tell you what, sweetie. Why don't you take those in the kitchen? I gotta show the colors. You should be really proud. Your dad was was an amazing guy, and everyone in town liked him. Right. They wouldn't be here if they didn't respect him. Respect? <laughs> Give me a break. Phonies, every last one of them. Look at him, eating his food, drinking his whiskey. Take Malachi. Clown wasn't fit to carry my dad's briefcase. Makes me want to puke. Sons of bitches, any one of them could have pulled the trigger. You should be safe here for the time being. If you were ever tempted to tell me what you know, now's the time. All right, I'll tell you what I think. I think there's a cult or something operating up here. They hide behind that church of theirs on the hill, but they've got a, uh, a secret or a plan of some kind, and they'll do anything to protect that. I think they're violent. I think they keep people here against their will, and they scare the hell out of everybody else, and I think your dad was onto them. All right, then what? Sophia. Your father is out there somewhere with three bullets in his gut, and he's in danger. Please, help me to help him. Sophia, come on, damn it to hell! I need a place to start. A foothold, anything. Believe me, nothing I know will help you. What is it with you people? You know how to use one of these? Why am I not surprised? That's me. Otherwise, you don't open that door. Not for anybody. Oh, 
this about the C-minus I gave you on the midterms? Somebody's got to try to talk some sense into you. Baby, I'm sorry I didn't want this. At least you're safe. Thank <sighs> you. 
dad's gonna be just fine now. I thought you said they were brothers. Did I? You know people in Seattle, right? What's going on? Luke? Don't you have any family, relatives, anything there? Yeah, I have an uncle on my mother's side and some cousins. Why? Okay, listen. I'm being watched, okay? There's something going down here tonight, and I have to get out of here real fast, like immediately. You're talking about running? Do you have any idea what's going on in here tonight? They're choosing a new board of directors for the brewery. No, Sophia, it's a lot heavier than that. Listen, you run the brewery in this town, you run the entire pack, okay? I have a car waiting in the back, just in case. Luke, I don't... Shh, please. Do you remember McNeeson's history class last year? Well, what's the first thing that the Ottoman Emperor did when he ascended to the throne? He executed all his brothers. It's the same deal. You think the new boss is going to want the son of the old boss running around town? Getting bigger, getting stronger. Hey, Luke, Mr. Creed would like a moment of your time. Steady, dear. Sorry. No, it's no problem. Listen, this is, uh, it's probably a wild goose chase, but, uh, you haven't seen either of these guys in here tonight, have you? No. Oh, wait. Anyone check into the lodge tonight? Some men came in earlier. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Thanks. Excuse me. my cousin in Seattle. I don't know him really well, but he's a great guy, and he says you would crash this place for a few days. Okay, cool. Thanks. I owe you big time. Do you have any money? I got like 200 bucks. No, 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 no. Not here, not here. My cousin's address and phone number. What are you doing? Nothing, okay? It's just another sixty dollars. I give you more, but I, I don't. No, Sophia, I can't. I can't take this. Luke, please, you have to take it, okay? And you have to go. Go now. I'll pay you back the minute I get a job. No, I can't come back. Ever. I know. So this may be it. Sons. Okay. <sighs> now what? You know the restaurants by the pool tables? Nobody's watching those windows. You can slip right through. No, those restrooms are locked. I already tried them. I stole the master key from the front desk. You can sneak out through the lounge, unlock the diner door behind you, and I'll lock the front doors before they go inside. That way, you can get out, and nobody can follow you. They won't be able to get beyond the lobby. Can you get me the key with everybody watching? Get your cake and go back to your corner. I'm not hungry. Let's go back to your corner. Hi, Sophia. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't be making any long-term commitments right now. In fact, your whole future 
probably caps out around midnight. Yeah? Well, with the way you've been treating me lately, you better hope so. You see that I like? cares about you at all? You're wrong, Sophia. That's not what he's after. I don't care about what he's after. I care about what's after him. And if I know how much danger he's in, then you know. Well, the facts are as follows. Sophia had a plan, which she was in the process of carrying out though damned if I understood a single word of it. Did you? Sit home in your room with your books and your telescope, fighting off hormonal urges by chatting with death row inmates over the internet. Is that what you want to do? That's me. Wolf Lake's last virgin. <sighs> what a waste. I just, I'm trying to picture myself in the middle of what's supposed to be one of the most wonderful and passionate moments of my life, and then suddenly I let go and become, uh, you know. A, An animal? It's pretty much scaring the crap out of me, yeah. <laughs> So you end up with two natures. It's better. You know, it's more powerful, it's more interesting, it's sexier. Maybe my dad's right. Maybe I, I don't belong with the kids on the hill. What are you talking about? Your dad hasn't noticed the changes in you because he doesn't want to. I have. I'm not ready. Sophia, you're gonna flip. Whether you want to or not, it's gonna happen. Sex just happens to speed it up. And when the time does come, wouldn't you rather be with someone that you trusted? That is such a come on, and way beneath you. Beneath me? <laughs> I'm 17. OK. All right, but you got to remember one thing. You are what you are. And if you don't accept that pretty soon, you're going to go totally psycho. I'm there now, Luke. Just trying to figure out what to do about it. invited you to the rave. Way past bedtime, no? Mind your own business. Listen, Zubait, what makes you think you're ever going to fit in with us on the hill? I may be Zubait, but I've got your fish on the line. Who are you calling a bitch? Wow. You heard that. It's finally happening, isn't it? Sophia's change has started. I mean, look out, Wolf Lake. Back off, Presley. That's why he's sniffing around. Just remember, once you flip, the mystery's gone. And so is he.
I thought you wanted to come out here and talk. <laughs> you haven't said a word to me. I wasn't entirely honest. Huh? Oh, why did we come out here? I'm not sleeping well. Are we going to take a nap? I can't think about it or dream about it anymore. I just have to get it over with today before I change my mind. Today? Cool. I didn't know who else to ask. Well, you know what? You picked the right guy. I mean, I'm, I'm not a little girl anymore, and it's time to grow up, even if it's scary. It's, it's just a fact of life. Absolutely. I mean, just look straight into what's terrifying me. Right on. So, can I see it? Please? It? The transformation. I want to see what it's like to flip. <laughs> Why, well, what did you think I was asking? I, I thought that you meant, um... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so, can you show it to me? I'm not exactly used to doing it on demand. Okay. Well, at least one of us is gonna get naked. to be scared. Just don't run. I'm out of here, Rusty. Night, Sophia. Check it out, man. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, you said you were going to Lucy's after work to study. I thought I'd give you a lift. Thanks, but uh, I don't need one. Is uh, this what you wear these days to hit the bus? I wear what makes me feel good. Ah, I mean, just a little tight. Could cut off that circulation to your brain. You don't think I'm going over to Lucy's, do you? I never said that. Yes, you did. You are the king of paranoia, Bill, and I'm instantly guilty in awaiting a sentence. Why can't you just trust me for once? Go ahead. Sophia, you're looking good. 
Thanks. <laughs> Is this as loud as it gets? No. It's better by the speakers. Then what are we doing over here? Show me what you got. What are you doing here? I thought you were spending the night at Lucy's. Things got kind of turned around. We're going to do it another night. You all right? You look a little... I'm fine. How long have you been sitting here? I don't know. What happened, sweetie? is it with parents? Do they think their kids are just someone they can, like, interview constantly for 25 years? That's not talking. It's not communication. All right. I'll just listen. I don't feel like talking. You look like your heart's broken. And I have anything to do with that. <sighs> Suddenly, I can't think of anything to say that doesn't sound like a question. I'm not totally committed yet, but I am leaning towards respecting your privacy on this one. Whatever happened tonight, I'm so sorry it hurt you. I'm glad you came home. Two barbecue beef combos, one venison chili, one neck bone platter, and four Dr. Peppers, please. I was there. I did not see you guys. Kate, you better take this to Booth One. I can't go over there. Oh. No, you shouldn't. Luke Cates needs to know. He can't play you the way he did. That was low. Even for a hill kid. Just, just don't say anything. Don't worry. I won't. I promise. Hey, is this about me and Presley? Because it's no big deal. She doesn't mean anything to me. Does anybody? You know what, Sophia? If I knew that you were going to get all bent out of shape about this, I would have never invited you over to the lake. When you said show up at the rave, I didn't think you meant come watch me do my girlfriend. Presley is not my girlfriend, and I never meant for you to see that. Oh, oh well, that makes it all better, huh? You didn't mean it. <laughs> and I'm just a hysterical person who just freaks out over nothing. Yeah. Just, just forget what I said, okay? It was stupid, and 
Not me at all. It's obvious that you're going through a tough time right now. And so am I. So I just want to be your friend, Luke. But that's all. I'm so done with that crowd. Well, it sure is easy to get sucked into the whole hill thing. I remember my first sexual fantasy, Star Garth Whitelock. He lived at the top of the hill, and he was totally evil. Weird. It's probably why I was so hot for him, though. <laughs> he made it. Scott Nichols? And who did he just break up with? Emery. And when did you hook up? We haven't. But he's been circling for about a month, and today he'll learn that persistence pays off. Hey, what's up? Uh, okay. It's just the thing. Bye, Scott. Oh, but don't mess with my friend, or else you're gonna have to answer to me. <laughs> She's fun. Starting conversation, so I'm gonna let you start. I'm glad you came by. Is there something crucial I should know about Luke Cates? He keeps staring at me, not in a loving way. <laughs> He's an animal. Luke is not my boyfriend. Really? Well, his eyes are getting all beady and mean and murderous. Like your basic serial killer who's watching some student government geek chatting up his woman. Are you asking me out? Um, well, let's assess the potential damage. A broken arm, maybe. A skull fracture. I, I could lose an eye. But uh, it would all be worth it for a night out with someone as awesome as you. You say all the right things. Should I trust someone who says all the right things? Totally. <laughs> Last night, I stole your boyfriend. In my dreams, of course. Like, I would ever do that to you in real life. Do you think that means that I'm jealous of you? Thank you. Well, I don't think that it does. Well, is he cute? Well, he was at first, but then he turned into Pastor Randolph. I'm weird, huh? <laughs> You're interesting. ignoring me. I'm not ignoring you. I've been busy. <sighs> yeah, I know you've been busy. Been hanging out with that kid. I jerk off that ungulate. When you say things like that, you better remember you're talking about me, too. Sophia, listen, I, I know that you're pissed, okay? I, I know that. But I just wanted to let you know that the only reason I hooked up with Presley in the first place is because you decided you didn't want to have sex. So, you see, I was simply respecting your decision. Who said I didn't want to have sex? Uh, you said that? No, I didn't. I have a problem with flipping. I'm not okay yet with being a creature. But sex is a completely separate issue. <laughs> no, it's not. No, not if you're afraid to flip. And I hate to break it to you, but sex with me, or with anybody else for that matter, is not going to happen. Unless you get over that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, how far can you go? At what point during the act does the change actually occur? Oh, you can go pretty far. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I could always, like, tap you or something, you know, right before you're about to go over the edge. <sighs> you are a piece of work. Yeah. Why don't we just... Hang out tonight. You want to do that? I have stuff to do. Yeah? Are you hanging out with that guy? Maybe I am. I don't want you to. 
I can see whoever I want, whenever I want. Just because everyone else is afraid of you doesn't mean I am. Shakespeare wrote his first play at 27. Orson Welles turned out Citizen Kane. Jim Morrison drank himself to death at that age. By 27, you're either a follower or a leader, a spectator or a player, a sayer or a doer. So am I in the company of a doer? Definitely. Not such a good idea kissing someone new after scarfing down a multi-ingredient pizza. We both had the same pizza. Thank <laughs> you. 